last time we made constellations with the soda can. This week, we are going to work on making a lantern. We're going to make it basically out of a can. So, the first thing you're going to need is a can. Okay, not a soda can, a tin can. Something that tomatoes would come in, or soup, or coffee, or something that your parents have. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your sink, and you are going to fill it up with water. Just fill it up all the way to the top. That's step one. You're going to take that tin can, and you're going to go to your freezer, and you're going to put it in the freezer. Okay? Now, it's important to note what size your tin can is, because you're going to make a design that can go on the tin can. So, for example, if you have a big can, you can do a big design. If you have a small can, you're going to want to make a small design. So make sure you think carefully about what can you have and what you can start doing. We will continue this more once the water has frozen into ice. Okay, so for the next step to making your lantern, you're gonna need a few more things. You're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need scissors, and you're gonna need a piece of paper if you want. What you can do with your tin can lantern now is you're going to make a pattern for it. You can do this one of two ways. You can take a Sharpie and you can freehand it if you want to. Put whatever design you want to on it. Have it be R2-D2 or it could be a circle. But what we'll do for now is I'm going to use a piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it just like this and I'm going to draw a little line right where this paper ends. Then what I'm going to do so I'm going to cut it. Cut it. Right Just like that. Then I'll make another mark right at the lid. And then I'm going to be cutting that mark. Now, Depending on what you want to make, you can either do one side of the can, you can do all four. If you're going to do all four, get your Akela's help, and you're going to measure it, and divide it in fourths. So after you've divided it in fourths, you can then start to lay out your pattern. It can be anything you want it to be. Again, it can be a circle, R2-D2, whatever you want it to be. I asked Carter what he wanted, and he wanted a wolf. But then I realized I had two girls, so I asked what they wanted, and they wanted the lantern from Tangled. So, what I did, is I laid out circles and made the lantern. Now, as you can see, I've decided to go four suns around the entire lantern, and I put dots representing where I will bang the nail and the hammer in. Again, it can be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be all four sides. It can be one side. It can be something completely intricate on the one side. But make your pet pattern, and then uh, we will chat again very soon with our frozen tin can, and we will make our lantern. All right. Welcome to Tool Time. I am your host, Tim the Tool Man Taylor, and I'm here with my assistant, Al Borland. <laughs> And we are here to work on our tin cans. But before we do that, we need to do what Tim the Toolman Taylor does, and he does a big grunt for more power. <laughs> Can you do that, Al? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what you guys are going to need is you're going to need the tin can. That's cold because... You're going to need your template, a hammer, a nail, and some scissors. So... Maybe you have it at home, maybe you don't, is a vise. The vise will be able to hold the tin can. All right, so that can go in there. You'll cut it and put the template on that. Now, maybe you don't have a vise at home. In which case, Al's going to hold two pieces of wood like that. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to use duct tape. I have gaff tape, which will be my substitute. 
And what you're going to do is you're just going to tape it down, go across, go like this, go across, go like this. This will keep it in for the scout to nail and you don't have to put your hands in trouble. For the next step, you're going to do exactly what we did for the planetarium and you are going to take a hammer and a nail and go into the tin can. It doesn't take much. You go where your dots are. Why don't you show everyone how to do it? Here you go, Al. Go for that one right there. Fill it give. Did it give? Yep. Oh, Pull it out. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do that for all your dots. And then we'll see the finished product. Stay tuned. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, Akela's and Scott's, here are some quick thoughts now that I've done two sides. One, the paper works. It's a little hard to manage. So, you might want to think about before you freeze your tin can to put Sharpie marks on it of points so that it becomes easier to use. Also, Akela's, you're going to want to make sure after about five minutes that you take the tin can and dump the excess water out as it melts. But the water is absolutely essential to keep the tin can from crushing and falling apart. Now, if all you scouts want to see an experiment, you can use hot water and watch your ice come out. Oh, there it goes. What'd you think, Al? So, the finishing touches to your lantern will be to put a hole in the top of the can and tie it with two overhand knots so that it can hang. And again, I did the whole can and you may decide to just do one. But here it is. Well, Scouts, here we are. We've made our lantern. The music is serenading us in the background. And our lanterns are built. They might look like this. The lanterns can be used and made for your mom's or your dad's, for Mother's or Father's Day, or just for you. And like I said, I was going to make this for my daughters. So we are listening to Tangle. And here it comes. Now, Scouts, some of you might be going, well, Disney princesses are great, but they're not what I care for. So maybe you want to do a different design. Alexa, play the Star Wars theme. So scouts, make what you want to and rule your galaxy and make your light as bright as it can be. Scout on. Waka waka.